What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another movie review. I'm Chase Lee, and the movie I want to take a look at right now is The Old Guard. Now, this one comes from Netflix. It's directed by Gina Prince Bythewood. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And this one is about a covert team of immortal mercenaries that are suddenly exposed and must now fight to keep their identity a secret, just as an unexpected new member is discovered. So, going into this one for me, I never saw any trailers for it, so I basically judged this movie off of Two things. Charlize Theron was in it. Awesome. And the behind the scenes photos that EW, I think it was EW, that release of the film, I was like, meh. <laughs> it looks like a traditional action film of either mercenaries, assassins, uh, people that used to work in the CIA or, or whatever, and they're going back to fight the corruption that they once worked for. It's stuff we've seen before. So I wasn't like super stoked to watch it, but I like the fact that Charlize has been taking a lot of these like kind of action choices in her career as of late. So I was willing to give it a shot. And just reading off that plot description, you would have never thought in a million years that's what this movie was about. Because when you see, like like I said, the photos, or I'm sure they hit a lot from the trailer too, it doesn't reek of that. It just, it just looks like a pretty throwaway movie that you just throw on a, a streaming service, which it is. And so I was like, it doesn't look special. And so, you know, I had no idea this was based on a graphic novel. It is in technically in the superhero genre, so it, that was surprising because <laughs> it made the story a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I just saw behind the scenes photos and I went into it. So saw the movie and I, I like it. I, I think there's potential there to build this into a grand epic story, a franchise, make the sequels, all that stuff. The bones are there to build something. This one does feel slightly hollow, but I think the stepping stones are there to make this into a really great franchise with potential sequels and potential prequels, just given the history and the, the richness of these characters and what they've gone through in their lives. So, yeah, I ended up liking it, and is it something I would want, would want to revisit? No. If they make a sequel to it or a prequel to it, I might revisit it, but... It's not uh, something I am just yearning for to watch again, but in that two hour and five minute run time that it is, which it does seem long, but it actually, I think, flies by pretty quickly, it was entertaining uh, for that run time. So what I really liked about it was the story. I think that is where the main thing that people are kind of liking about this film is the fact that you know these people can't die. Maybe there's some plot points in this story where it's, maybe showing that some of them are losing their powers a little bit. Uh, so that's interesting. So it wears off after a while. But, you know, these people have been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. They have seen history go down. They have been a part of history, making um, certain pivots in their decisions to where it actually, like, helps the, the better uh, of the human race and everything. And so these people have been through a lot. And so, you know, there's this... Uh, pharmaceutical giant played by a hold on give me a second here oh where is he at where is he at ah uh, it's the it's the it's the guy that plays dudley <laughs> in the harry potter films i forgot the actor's name um my bad but he plays the phar pharmaceutical giant that you know wants the these people's blood and dna so they can uh profit off of it and um you know make sure people are immortal <laughs> so um, it's a pretty pretty shady villain for sure, but you know, at some point they were going to get caught, they were going to get found out, and so that's where the the threat comes in, and it's a really kind of high high octane type of story. It never stops. It's just one action sequence after another, while having some really great character moments in between. And um, and like I said, it's a, it's a fascinating story. That's what kept my interest. That is what I liked the most. I liked these people's history. I want to see a prequel. I want to see everything that they've gone through. Uh, I want to see potential sequels of, you know, where the cliffhanger kind of uh, left off at. I want to see where Charlize's uh, character goes. I want to see where everyone else in the group goes, especially with the new member that's being added to the group, uh, played by Kiki Lane. Uh, she's recently discovered that she has this immortal uh, capability, and so she's kind of figuring out like what she needs to do in order to cope with it. So once again, the characters and the story and the premise, the world building, the powers that these people have, the conundrum that they face every single time, especially whether you've had this for a long period of time or if you're relatively new, how are you going to go about it? Are you going to fake your death and 
not let your uh, family worry about it. You're going to see them grow old and they're going to realize that you're not growing old. All of that stuff is just, it's fascinating. But that could also be where a negative is for this film. I've, I've seen a lot of people online say that this is a pretty empty film. It's just, you know, um, a lot of, a lot of, you know, explaining a lot of backstory and really doesn't, um, showcase anything as a, as a whole and stand on its own. It's just more of a film to set up potential, you know, sequels and just carry the story on. So it's not really something that stands on its own. I'm kind of back and forth with it. I can see the complaints that this movie can have in terms of just not having enough. And it's just really just bare bones of a story and just uh, meant to um, be a gigantic two hour long advertisement for future films. But I thought there was enough there to kept, uh, to keep me interested. And I think the, uh, like I said, the character work, especially between Charlize and Kiki, um, that was really nice. Uh, the other team members were also uh, really great. So I found enough there to keep uh, keep it going, but I can see where the um, lack of story and uh, um, impact could uh, affect um, other people as they view this, but I thought there was uh, enough there. Do I want to see more? Absolutely. I would love to see where this story goes, and I wouldn't mind seeing 10 of these things. If you can make it interesting and um, have the characters evolve appropriately, have the the risk and the threats out there evolve into bigger and more dangerous things for these people, I am all for it. That is what I liked about it the most. The performances are great. I think, like I said, I mentioned earlier, everyone has pretty great chemistry. Uh, Kiki Lane is a really great lead. Uh, she's the new member of the group. Um, and Charlize, she does her thing. She kicks a lot of ass and, um, you know, she also has some really great moments with her character having a lot of guilt and regret that I thought was quite surprising. She didn't have to, you know, go that hard into her performance. Uh, but she, uh, she did. And I think that's what, you know, adds that kind of emotional weight to the entire thing is that, yeah, these are immortal people and they've seen uh, a lot of things throughout history. They've gone through a lot of things, but they're also still human and they still have a lot of baggage that they carry with them, especially when you live for hundreds and hundreds of years. So you can definitely see how it can affect someone like her, who's, who's been immortal for quite some time. And then with Kiki Lane's character, she has no idea how to go about all this. So she's kind of figuring out how she goes. And that's why she talks to Charlize's character. So she should get more of a, a grasp of the situation. But yeah, I thought the performances were really well done. The action sequences are, are brutal. They're bloody. They're visceral. Um, they are in your face. Um, and I like that. It's based on a graphic novel, so that makes sense for me to kind of uh, amp up the violence and the blood a little bit. It just, uh, you know, it makes it makes their powers uh, be more enunciated than they are. And it really just shows you that these people know what they're doing. Like, do not cross these people. So if you want to be a pharmaceutical giant that goes after these people, just be careful because they'll come after you. Um, but yeah, I thought the action sequences were well handled. Um, they're not like John Wick level where it's like, oh my God, that blows my mind. But for what it is, um, it, it's, you know, it's well handled. Uh, and then I think the last thing is uh, the special effects in this movie are actually pretty good. Usually Netflix kind of drops the ball uh, with their movies and doesn't really give a lot of effort into um, making sure it looks as realistic as possible. But when you're dealing with a lot of superhero stuff, and especially when they're immortal and their wounds are healing on themselves, like you have to make sure it looks believable. And I think it did just that. So yes, uh, could there have been a little bit more for this film? Absolutely. But I think uh, what I got uh, was pretty interesting and I wouldn't mind seeing more. Um, but for a Netflix film, this is definitely one of the better ones of the bunch. So I'm going to give The Old Guard a B-. Uh, let me know down below if you've seen this movie or not and uh, tell me if uh, I'm wrong or correct. And uh, even if I don't reply to all of them, I still read them. Uh, so go ahead and let me know down below. But that will do it for this review, guys. If you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get updated so when I review anything. Excuse me. If you are more of a podcast person and you want this in audio form, uh, you can do just that. And you can subscribe to my Real Me and Colin the Movie podcast feed. If the, uh, the more you know audio form of the reviews is more of your bag, I do both at the same time. But yes, let me know down below what you thought of the old guard. And if you've read the graphic novel too, let me know down below. I want to read more graphic novels, so would this be also worth checking out? I am Chase Lee. 
that will do it for this review, guys. And I will see you next time for whatever I review next. I will see you guys later.